Hey, this is DD with another cryptocurrency and blockchain update. Now, I want to talk about cold storage. I've talked about cold storage before, but it's a topic that everybody uh, asks about, or a lot of people ask about. I get a lot of questions about cold storage, hardware devices, whatever you want to call it. And uh, a lot of people have trouble with it. You know, admittedly, these uh, devices are not easy to use. They're small, they got little buttons on them, they got little screens on them. Um, somebody with fat fingers like myself uh, has difficulty uh, using them. Someone with uh, bad eyesight has difficulty using them. Um, so I want to show you a little hack on how you can have your own cold storage that's going to be a lot easier to use than these little tricky devices. And by the way, I do use them, by the way. So I do use them. I've written about them on how to set them up. Um, and, um, but I'm going to show you a little hack on that. It might save you a lot of uh, heartache and headache. Okay. Here's what you can do. You can, it's going to cost you a few hundred dollars, but you go to the computer store, you buy a brand new two or three hundred dollar computer, bare bones computer, okay? Um, it doesn't need a fancy graphics card, it doesn't need uh, like a big hard drive on it. It can be like the, like I said, the most bare bones computer that you can find at the, at the store, at the computer store, okay? Bring it home. Um, what you do is you immediately you download the uh, Exodus wallet which is exodus.io or the Atomic Wallet, which is atomicwallet.io, okay? Download one or the other or download them both. I use them both, I think they are fantastic wallets. I've been using them, I've been using the Exodus Wallet for three years and the Atomic Wallet for a year and a half. Um, I like them both, they're both fantastic and they both have their own little niches. So um, yeah, they're great. Um, and I really do like the Atomic Wallet with its uh, easy, uh, easy staking. And I like the Exodus Wallet because of the uh, user interface is just fantastic. It's like, uh, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. So love them both. Okay. So you can download one or the other or both of them. No problem. Okay. And what you do, essentially, you're going to use this new computer as a 100% dedicated wallet for your cryptocurrencies. You're not going to be watching movies. You're not going to be watching YouTube videos like this one. You're not going to be playing games. You're not going to definitely not going to be downloading uh, uh, attachments onto the computer. Nothing like that. It's only going to be for your crypto. Okay, so this is really, uh, this is a hack on how you can have a, you can turn a hot wallet, which is uh, Exodus and Atomic are considered hot wallets because they're connected to the internet. This is how you can turn a hot wallet into a cold wallet, essentially. And in, in my opinion, this is just about as secure or just as secure as these hardware devices. If you have a dedicated computer, and it's just as secure or almost as secure, I have to say that uh, little disclaimer, as a, uh, as a hardware device. Okay. Now, if you don't want to go out and spend uh, a few hundred dollars on a new computer, if you have an old computer lying around, and a lot of people do, if you have an old computer lying around that maybe the graphics card uh, is not up to speed and uh, maybe the hard drive is like, you know, uh, low capacity or something, um, you can use that old computer just as well. You can um, take it, you can do it yourself or you take it to an IT person and they can wipe that computer 100% clean, wipe it clean, reinstall the operating system, and you can use that computer as a dedicated wallet as well. So if you have one lying around, it's not going to, it's not going to cost you any money to just do, it might cost you a little bit if you take it to an IT guy, it costs you uh, not much money at all. But if you got one laying around, might as well put it to use. Turn that joker into a crypto wallet, 100% dedicated. So you'd only, you, you'd only use it if you want to check, uh, check out the wallet or you can, if you uh, need to send crypto to it, you, you would uh, do it then. You would then after that, you just shut the computer down. Stick it in a, on your bookshelf and forget about it, okay? Um, that's, that's pretty cool how you can do that. Now, I'll show you another way. This, this might, uh, there's a, actually a, a second method how you can have a coldware. Uh, cold I like coldware, okay. <laughs> you gotta have a cold storage device <laughs> on, your, on your phone. Man, I tell you, I laugh at myself more than anybody else. <laughs> okay, you, uh, you can have a cold storage device on your phone uh, I'll give you an example. Okay, I'm a big Theta person. I think Theta project is like excellent. One of going to be one of the top cryptos. It's, I think Theta is going to be a top ten crypto. Somebody, my Patreon the other day said, uh, "Hey, could you give us your prediction for the future top tens? Maybe I think by 2021 20, or something like that." I'm like, "Yeah, okay, I'm up for that challenge." That's going to be deadly though because um, this could be way. There's no way anybody's anybody's going to predict the uh, top ten uh, cryptocurrencies for for next year. Um, but I'll give it a shot. If I get if I get two or three or four or five right, I'm, if I get five right, that's that's pretty darn good. Um, but I think a lot of these cryptos are going to shift around a little bit. 
Um, but anyways, another video, another time for that one. Okay, so back to theta. Okay, so, so theta you're going to, for example, uh, theta has a dedicated wallet for their tokens. It holds the theta token and it holds theta fuel, T fuel. Okay, so you go to, in this example, you go to the uh, app or play store. You download that wallet, the theta wallet, the official one, okay, and onto your mobile device. You send one theta to it, okay. Um, now, let me back up a little bit. When you, once you download the uh, wallet onto your device, you're going to set it up properly. You're going to put a password in there, or a pin code, actually, and it's going to have you write down those 12 words that you're probably familiar with, the 12-word seed phrase. You write them down on a piece of paper. Don't snap a photo of it. Don't email it to yourself or anybody else. Digital images and copies have a tendency to leak out, okay? Just keep it on a piece of paper and keep it safe. Okay, write those 12 words down. Send one theta to that wallet in this example. Um, then what you do is you erase that wallet from your phone. You uninstall it, okay? Then what you do is you download the wallet again. Um, instead of create wallet, which is what you uh, did originally, instead of create wallet, you're going to um, select restore from backup. That's it, yeah, restore from backup, okay. Um, you restore from backup, you put in those 12 words that you wrote down before, and your one theta token should be sitting right there waiting on you, okay? So here's what, here's the cool thing, is what this kind of acts as a cold storage in a, in a sense too. Now this is maybe scare some people about, uh, let's say if they have, you know, 50,000 theta or 100,000 theta, just send it to the wallet and then delete it. That's gonna make some people nervous. Um, but that's how you can actually, um, that's how you actually have a cold storage. Because have it, if you had 100,000 or 50,000 theta, uh, theta on your phone, uh, without doing this, um, if your phone gets, I don't know, broken into or hacked or something, maybe it's, they, they could disappear. Um, this actually get, adds a level of security. And the reason why you send one originally and then delete the wallet and then restore it again is just to make sure the whole system works. Okay, so you're doing this kind of like as a uh, litmus test in a, in, a, in a sense, for lack of a better uh, <laughs> term or analogy. Um, so that's another way you can do a cold storage device. So again, that might make some people nervous that you're gonna put the, all that theta on there. In this example, if you say if you had 50,000 theta or 100,000 theta on there and then you delete the device. But, um, th that's, but if the backup already works, then uh, that might be something you wanna consider. Now, do this at your own risk. You know, this is, cryptos are risky and you know, all this other stuff, all this other blah, blah, blah stuff I have to say. Um, but just consider that, consider um, doing that as, as kind of like a poor man's cold storage device. So um, I personally like the uh, method number one, having a dedicated computer just for cryptocurrencies, just for your wallet. Um, I really, really like that. And this is what I've been teaching my students for the last few years about uh, how to have a quote unquote poor man's cold storage device. And, and that's not even the right word though. It's not about necessarily saving money. It's about having something that's actually more user friendly than these tiny little devices that are really, really, really hard to ma manipulate and control. <clears throat> um, I do get a lot of, a lot of questions and a lot of um, concerns, not concerns. I get a lot of questions about, uh, you know, this and that for these uh, hardware devices because uh, a lot of people have trouble with them. Let's just admit it. And um, they can be intimidating to set up and, and operate as well. Let's just admit that as well too. So. All right, this is uh, DD's. That's my uh, hack for the day, cold storage hack. Um, consider that, and um, I think you'll do okay with that. I mean, this is—I I, I, want—you know—we're not going to make a—we're not going to make any money if our cryptos get um, hacked or stolen or whatever. Obviously not. So I just want to give you another option on how you can securely uh, store these these uh, cryptocurrencies. And um, yeah, I like method number number one, and I've actually used method number two before too. So. Uh, they both work beautifully. So just consider both. Um, and if you don't like any of these methods, just uh, go and get a hardware device. So um, there's two major players, as you probably know. They're both great. I prefer one over the, over the other uh, for several reasons. But um, uh, that's a, another story uh, that's in my Patreon. So anyways, all this is in my Patreon. A lot of stuff is. Actually, this is new news. So I'm sharing it with you guys. And um, um, uh, I just wanted... I, I'm getting so much mail about this, uh, about this security thing. It is basically people's number one concern. Um, there's another big concern too. I'll make another video about another big concern uh, in a future update. So, all right, so there's a little teaser for the next video. So, all right, this is DD. I'll see you in the next video. Give this video a like, share it with your group, and uh, follow me on this channel and hit that bell for notifications. I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Take care.